super large colony of Gambusia Athens. Not a rare or hard to find fish. You see how happy they are. 300 gallon pond. There's several hundred in each. Lots of live food. Just for them, mosquito larvae, midge, all kinds of micro worm. It doesn't take much, people. 350 gallon kiddie pools from the Walmart cost ten dollars or less and look at what you can have turtle basking area the colony of Gambusia flourishing yeah. you see them everywhere super healthy got loaded all the time you pull them out here you feed them to any of your fish disease free beautiful simple DIY trick on Thanksgiving fellas test this water quality pH alkalinity are perfect Nitrates are almost non-existent. Water changes happen two times a week. And because of the size of the colony, there's babies constantly. We'll go over there, check this one out. Just give y'all a little taste. Look at all of them. Gambusia Athens, guys. You ever want to raise your own live food? Any kind of eels? Centrals? South American cichlids that are hard to get on live foods, catfish that are hard to get on live foods. This is a perfect starter food. As long as you raise them out several generations, start out with a good sized colony. And you'll want to keep them in a quarantine first just to make sure that they're, they're disease free and inside of a controlled environment just like this. And if you're in a colder climate that doesn't get super severe winters, uh, and you can do it outside year round as long as you keep the pond at least two feet deep. Uh, but if you have severe winters where it'll freeze over, then it's not going to work very, very well. But in the southern states, this is an awesome live food source if you need it. Perfect. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, here on YouTube, my YouTube family, my Captain Awesome Nights. Uh, just wanted to bring y'all a little, you know, a little quick update. We're with family right now, so it's not going to be anything drastic. I uh, just wanted to show you a little TI DIY tidbits and, uh, you know, a few little things that you could do if you need a live food alternative that's super healthy. Uh, as long as you take the right steps in order to quarantine them first and uh, there's also a little sneak preview of uh, my Tanganyikan African cichlid tank uh, I got one more of the species that I needed to add uh, there's one or two more after that and then we'll get the 140 up going with them so make sure you stay to the end to check that out and Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Love you all. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that like button. Share it as much as possible, guys. Let's get us up over that 10,000 mark. And uh, let's give some stuff away to y'all. Y'all all deserve it. And uh, I have my son. He wants to say happy Thanksgiving to y'all, too. So happy Thanksgiving. And we'll see y'all next time. Happy fish keeping. Stay true to the hobby, peeps.
Thanksgiving, everybody. Stay true to the hobby. Got them awesome nights. We we love you all. And um, eat lots of turkey. Eat lots of turkey and subscribe to my channel. Go Cowboys. Safety's out. Peace out, bruh.